exception of the Maybach diesel electric propulsion aboard the Aurora, the second most popular topic has always been the ship's horns. A ship's horns are considered to be the voice of a ship, and for good reason. There's a lot of information packed into the blast of a ship's horn, much like when a train blasts its horn when it's going through a busy town, and that's exactly what the ship's horns are doing. The type of sound signal can indicate if a ship is underway, stopped, has restricted maneuverability, is under tow, or is aground or at anchor. Horns like these are a very important safety measure and most certainly a very iconic and memorable part of any ship. The idea is when we're finished, these horns will give this ship back its voice. I'm guessing it's been more than 30 years since this horn's actually made noise. I'm up on the forward mass where the two original air horns are mounted. They have been the voice of this ship since 1955. They've been silent for way too long. We're gonna get them down and see if we can't bring them back to life and give this ship its voice. You're good. Looking at how this is gonna come off, a couple of the bolts are broken. Everything's, well, pretty deteriorated as far as the aluminum around where the bolts are. Can't get a grinder in to cut the head of this bolt off. So we may end up having to come underneath and just take a thin sliver with a sawzall to get to that steel and then remachine those feet so it sits level. That's what we're gonna start with. See where we go from there. I was able to get the air horn down. I went with the method that I had discussed with the Sawzall, and I was able to cut the bolts, but all the feet had disintegrated, so they fell off. We're gonna have to find a way to repair that. And all of these iron bolts are in there pretty good. We'll end up cutting this off, grinding this off, drilling it, Retapping it to get all this apart so we can clean it up, refresh it inside, and then put it all back together and get it painted. Uh, this piece here is what makes the ship this tone. So when we take this off, we will have to get it back to the exact same spot so that this maintains the tone that it had when it was manufactured. It's going to be a job for a while. And one of the other things is we'd like to uh, have some help on this one. So if anybody would like to donate to the Voice of the Aurora, please see the link below.
the past, this was removed with a hammer. You can see how it's all flattened out here and here. So Chris came up with the idea of making a tool so he didn't have to beat this piece of brass. So we just took a couple pieces of steel, welded to a bar, and made ourselves a wrench. And as you see, it worked wonderfully. Good job, Chris. I selected a few tools to try and determine what the best process of stripping this horn would be. It's got maybe five layers of paint, maybe more. Um, clear back from probably when this thing was new. So this is what I have. Uh, I have a pneumatic scraper and it's a, it's a very delicate scraper. It doesn't, doesn't hit really hard. It has several different blades that you can put on here to uh, modify it for whatever job that you're doing. Uh, another thing that I have, I have some premium paint stripper. I have a couple of different kinds of paint strippers, so we're going to try which one works the best if they work at all. I mean, old paint seems to not work that great with some of these paint strippers. And then I have the German-made fine scraper. Uh, it has a bunch of different tips with it. And we're going to try and figure out which one of these would work the best, if at all. I don't know if this tool is the right tool for the job, but at least uh, it's another tool in our arsenal that we can give a try to. And then last but not least, I have the angle grinder with a flap disc on it. We have a 120 grit flap disc on here, so we could eat the paint off slow and hopefully not eat through the metal. Over the last days, we've been trying to figure out the best technique because all of the feet on this horn are completely crusted off. They've corroded so bad that they have kind of a chalk on them. I think we can grind this stuff off or maybe even sandblast it. We're stuck with the task of maybe trying to put these things back on, kind of like a puzzle. I don't think that that's the best of ideas or we need to fabricate new ones. So we went out and we picked up some of these from one of our good friends and these are giant, heavy, I don't know, probably eight pounds of extruded aluminum. And we have a couple of these that I think will work just fine. We could actually cut our feet out of these things, TIG weld them on, and we'll have our horn back. Hopefully, we could do a good enough job that you wouldn't even be able to tell that these weren't original. I think we're going to go ahead and start with the paint stripper because this seems like the uh, least damaging to the ship's horn itself. If we're able to put this stuff on and easily scrape off the old paint when it's all soft and bubbly, then problem solved. But we have two different types. I don't know which one's going to work better. I don't know which one's more industrial. So we're going to try little areas and see uh, which one works better. And hopefully we can get away with just chemical stripping this whole thing. Ooh, it's like gel. Oh, I'm hoping this stuff works good. Like, ooh, that's gel, bubbly. That is ugly stuff. So I'm going to put a bunch of this stuff on. I'm hoping that this is just going to allow us to scrape really slowly to take off the paint. So we're gonna go fire up the air compressor and see if that's gonna work. Air compressor's charging up. We just put some gas in. And I think we're ready to give this thing a shot. Let's see what it's going to do. So my opinion, it works, but it just doesn't work fast enough. 
Okay, the next thing I'm gonna try out is an angle grinder with a 120 grit flap disc. And I'm positive this will work. I just don't know how much damage it's gonna do to the horn itself. Is it gonna take off too much metal? I think it's all gonna be about who uses it, who, who, who's actually doing the job. Because we don't wanna grind it down too far. We don't wanna take off too much metal. You know, Grid started this project and I know he can do it for sure. So he'll probably wind up finishing this part of it off. Let's plug this thing in and see how it's gonna work. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes since we put this chemical stripper on, so it should be effective by now. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. It's, okay, so this is uh, not super effective. If you like seeing crazy projects like this, please like, subscribe, support us on Patreon, but let us know you're out there. We love to read positive comments, so shoot us some positive comments, order us a pizza. Any way that you would like to support us, just show us that you're out there. We have the ship's voice sitting in front of us. We're trying to get all the old paint off it, and we have tried numerous methods. Uh, we've tried chemical scraper, or chemical, we've tried chemical stripper, and this paint is just laughing at it. It's not working. We have tried the wire wheel, and that works in spots that you can get to it. But so much of this is corners and places that you can't get the wire wheel. So we're down to small scrapers and just hacking away at it. This is obviously lead paint. I don't think they had latex the last time they painted this. And over the years, all the good stuff to paint has evaporated out. And I think all that's left is lead and pigment. And it's adhered to this cast aluminum. So, very gently scrape this off, leaving as much aluminum behind, trying not to make too many digs or, or scratches in it. And it's going to be a process. It's going to be a long process.